If you're looking to move to the United States, an E2 franchise can be a good transition for you and your family. And there's all sorts of reasons why you might wanna invest in a franchise, but we're gonna save that for another video. And in today's video, we're gonna go through the top 40 franchises listed by total unit count that last time we checked are eligible for the E2 visa and accept E2 visa applicants. This does not mean this is the best E2 visa opportunities available. We've looked at thousands of franchises. Last I checked, it was over 7,000 franchises. We've identified over 500 franchises that are eligible for the E2 visa where the franchise or wants to cater to E2 visa holders. So for today's video, we're gonna go through the top 40 um, ones again by unit count, not necessarily the best options for you and your family. As you identify the best options for you and your family, you're gonna have to do a crazy amount of research and spend a lot of time. And you can also work with us, Visa Franchises Advisor, to make the process go a lot smoother. So there's a lot of big names you're not gonna see on this list, UPS Store, Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's. Those businesses do not work with E2 visa holders. Generally, they want people that already have restaurant experience, as is the case for Dunkin' Donuts or McDonald's, U.S. restaurant experience. Number one on our list is Great Clips. They have 4,447 locations as of the end of 2021, and it's basically a hair salon franchise based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It was founded in 1982, so been around for 40 years and they have a starting investment amount of $178,000. Next on the list is another hair salon franchise also based in Minnesota Sports Clips. Uh, they have 1,800 locations founded in 1995, starting investment at 246,000. They have to get huge hit during COVID and Sports Clips is gonna take some time to recoup your investment back if you're looking to open up a, a Sports Clips today as the average unit volume isn't so high. Next, ChemDry. They have 1,600 locations, found in 1994, starting an investment of 69,000. The Maids, premier housekeeping franchise, found in 1979, 1,500 locations, can in get in with 57,000. And then you have Papa Murphy's, 1,200 locations throughout the United States, founded in 2004. Pizza franchise. Budget Blinds, 1,200 locations, founded over 30 years ago, starting an investment at $140,000. They basically help consumers install blinds and window coverings in their homes. Mathnasium, 950 locations throughout the United States. They also have locations abroad, founded in 2003, starting an investment at 112,000. With education concepts, definitely always check what the average unit volume is for franchisees in the system. Meineke Car Care Center, 700 locations. Meineke Car Care Center has great brand name recognition with consumers. Lawn Doctor, they have 613 locations. They've been around for nearly 50 years, starting investment 116,000, and it's all sorts of lawn care uh, services, mowing, fertilization, and even they have pest control. Rita's Ice Custard Happiness, clocking in at 565 locations, and it's essentially Italian ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, all sorts of unique flavors, and the starting investment is quite low. Uh, I believe that if it's in a non-traditional location or um, like a mobile cart at just 15,000. Might not be eligible for the E2 visa at 15,000, but getting to 80, $100,000, it, it should be eligible for the E2 visa meeting the substantial investment amount requirement. Amco Transmissions, clocking at 562 locations. Uh, it was founded over 50 years ago, and it's basically replaces transmissions of vehicles and works on transmission repairs. Hand and Stone Massage and Facial Spa, 506 locations, founded in 2005, starting investment 591,000. Then you have Right at Home, where we actually interviewed the, the president and head of franchise development. They have over 500 locations, founded 20 years ago, starting investment 87,000. I really like home care. Uh, if you're willing to put in the time, it can be a very profitable enterprise for you and your family. Oxy Fresh Carpet Clean, 460 locations, founded in 2006, starting investment 47,000. Next up at 15 is Nine Round, 440 locations. They were founded in 2008, starting investment 113,000. They got hit really hard during COVID and they've had a tough time recovering. A lot of gym franchises haven't fared so well um, recently, uh, such as F45 Fitness, Anytime Fitness, 
where starting investment seems pretty low at 113,000, but definitely talk to existing franchisees because what I understand, they don't make so much money with a nine round franchise. 16, you have Mako, automotive repair franchise, starting at 280,000, so a little higher, but they have 411 locations just in the US. Sinorama, I had the president on, um, AJ Titus, not too long ago, uh, 389 locations, founded in 1986, starting investment $120,000. So not a bad entryway in. And the average unit volume, if you have a full-time salesperson, is significantly higher than if you don't allocate the resources to hire that key personnel. Enhance Wood Refinishing, 383 locations, $58,000 to start, so not bad. It's refinishing wood services. 19, one hour heating and air conditioning, number of locations in the States, 375, founded 19 years ago in 2003, starting investment, 25,000. Generally, again, for the E2 visa, you wanna invest 80K, 100K plus, but definitely consult with your immigration attorney on the initial investment amount. And then we have Mosquito Joe, number 20, 374 locations in the United States, founded in 2012. $109,000 investment. I interviewed, had a franchise development as well, the president of that brand. Definitely check out our YouTube video on that. I just went through the top 20 for 21 to 40. I think it's getting easier. Just look at our article. We'll include that in the description of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot there, but keep in mind, just because they have a lot of locations, they might have passed their prime and actually be closing locations. So how we help our clients at Visa Franchise is to better understand the numbers, compare apples to apples, get you in contact with franchisors, but also get you in contact with franchisees so you can vet the information that you've received. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let us know if you have any questions or if you think that we missed any franchises on this list.